Okay, welcome back. Good to see you again, even though I can't actually see you. Um, I just thought I'd do a quick video just showing you how to transfer hands from GG Poker or any of the GG Poker skins into Hold'em Manager 3. You probably already know how to do this, uh, but you may not do, so... I will show you how I do it. I'm not sure if this is the only way. So what you need to do, you need to log into your GG Poker um, software. I mean, I use GG Poker and Natural Aid. This I'm actually um, using Natural Aid, but it's all the same. So there's some minor differences here and there, but essentially you're playing the same games. That's the main thing. And so then you log in and then you get um click onto your poker craft the uh that um is usually at the bottom bar there's a little button there for you to click and then you will get a screen like this usually it goes to your timeline I've already kind of bypassed that just to save time and what you want to do is just click on to one of the tabs on the left hand side of the hands is that you want to download now these are all divided into different sections just you know if you play spinning gold or rushing cash or tournaments for example uh you're going to have to do this for each one of those um it can take a little bit of time if you're a bit behind and you want to upload all your hands into hold of manager um but t today i'm just going to upload some hold'em hands um, i haven't really played very many you can see here about 30 or 40 hands I, I think i may have played yesterday or whenever so not many i think i played a few tournaments on natural eight last night but just a few cash games so i'm going to be uploading the tournaments later uh, but i just thought i'd do a quick video showing you how to do the cash game so you can select the dates that you want to upload i'm just going to click the last seven days i haven't got seven days worth of hands i've got one but it doesn't really matter stakes if you you know you can do all or uh particular uh, pick a particular one i'm just going to do all that that's fine i think i may have played two dollar and five dollar uh not but again not many hands and then i want to uh, so before that I just click show okay so it, the, then you'll get rows of all the hands that you've played I think yeah, it goes down here oh, the, each each of these rows is for a different table so you know you've got yellow 49 blue 89 so I've got about 10-15 rows there or something and then you want I want to download all of those into my holder manager so I'll just click this. Uh, I mean, you can do, obviously, you know, you can see the graphs here. I don't think it looks that great. Oh, get a profit there by the looks of it. Okay, uh, so, but uh, I find I like to use Holder Manager because I can just do a few more things with it. We'll have a look at that in a minute. But uh, so we we've, we've click this button here and then we want to download the game histories. Okay, so we click that and uh it will then ask us to choose a folder so i'm going to go into i've got lots of folders here gg okay let's do that um we in right archive and then save okay and that's done so we've got now we've got all those hands into a zip folder onto uh well, that folder's on my desktop, so um then I'm going to hold, open up Hold'em Manager. Okay. So you can see here this week GG no hands to graph. Yeah, so there's nothing there. It says here GG Hero. Uh, that's not my name on GG, but you can't GG has a when you download hands from GG all the hands were anonymous. Uh, so it doesn't use your handle it doesn't use anyone else's handle you I'll, I'll quickly show you that in a moment so um then you want to go on to file i think you can see this here on the top left 
and you want to make sure that you're you first of all that you are stopping auto imp import okay because i mean if you if you do download and you forget to do that a box will pop up uh, and then you want to import i want to import a folder so i click this and it goes onto my desktop i click gg okay and uh, don't worry if it's got nothing in there so i select folder it looks like it's got nothing in there uh i don't think it shows the um um zip folders i don't think you can extract from the zip folder if you don't need to but i was going to select folder anyway and it should be downloading the hands and there you go very quickly i've got the the hands downloaded to the graph there already and uh yeah, so it's plus four dollars if you look at um you know sometimes there is a little bit of a difference here between what's on the poker crap on gg i think it said plus five dollars on gg i don't think i'm not sure why that is I, I, I don't think it takes into account the rake or whatever um but we can look at that a, a, another time we can go into a little bit more detail um i can show you you know what the replayer looks like and um how we can do comparisons of the rate between gg and poker stars fairly similar anyway but that's that's it that's how you download your hands from uh, gg poker or any of the gg poker skins into holder manager and then you can like i said there's a little bit of a difference because in my poker stars when you download well first of all poker stars downloads hands from into holder manager automatically you know you can't do that with gg they don't allow it but they do allow you to export your hands and put you put it into gg uh, into holder manager uh, the other big difference is in 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 the poker stars hands on a, a, you know sites like eight eight eight, uh, you will be able to identify the players and therefore you'll be able to analyze uh, your games against them, which can be helpful if you really you know you're playing a particular player quite a lot. You can get to know their strengths and weaknesses. But you can't really do that with GG because everything's synonymous, so everyone's just given a number. So what you really have to do is, you know, you, you know, if you're playing on one particular table with a particular player regularly, um, you play a few hands, just make a note of their position, who they are, you know, and um, you can do it that way, which is a little bit more effort, but um, that's the way it, it is. So you have to make your kind of your own notes of table. Okay, uh, hopefully you enjoyed that video and um, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.